Say what? All right, dating sites. They have taken over the interweb. Uh, lots of people meeting, marrying, a lifetime of happiness. But, you know, they get, they're getting more and more specific. So take a look at, at the, here's a list of the very odd and very specific single sites. So if you have a gluten-free intolerance, you can go to the gluten-free singles. You can go to clown dating. Oh, Everybody loves a clown that a clown love you. How about hot sauce passions? This one I can get behind, actually. Heck yes, if you have a penchant for the, you know, the pepper, the AmishOnlineDating.com. <laughs> Me? That's just a way for parents to trap their <laughs> teens. Exactly. What are you doing on the internet? <laughs> I told you, we don't have it. Uh, Meetaninmate.com is also a great oh, yeah. place to hook up for someone who's been hooked up. Uh, Fury Mate, where... Oh, furry. A furry Mate, where... Um, yeah, well, or, you know how these yeah, things yeah, work. Yeah. These guys are a dry cleaner's <laughs> dream come true. If you have a thing for a uh, men in <laughs> Uh, sea Captain Dating, of course, you can also find somebody there because everyone likes a good seaman. You know what I'm talking about, men of the sea. Uh, personals, if you like cat lovers, uh, where they meet and greet. Keeping things moving, of course, mullet passions. Now this, uh -huh. I think, has terrific potential. Yeah. There are a lot of ladies I know who secretly have a passion for a party in the back, all business in the front. At night, we go to the party the in the Tennessee back. The Tennessee top hat. The <laughs> diaper mates for people who like to... You, you know. don't need to explain what this one's about. Okay, there you go. Uh, women behind bars, of course, become a ray of hope in someone's life. You can make a difference, Ryan. <laughs> I don't know what that means. And of course, invest in breasts, um, implants, women who have just implants. This is where people go on and tell their stories and then uh -huh. the so-called, you know, philanthropists. Yes, say I'm going mammary to. Mammary philanthropists. <laughs> Uh -huh. and go online and invest. Uh, and then, of course, uniformdating.com, which we've talked about. Uh, and the big shocker there was the number one sort of requested uniform was the RCMP. Really? Yeah. Oh, you weren't here for that. I was yeah. not here for that. Totally. The, More than firefighters. RCMP. It's the. I'm with, I think it's the red. I'm not sure though. The 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 the, the pan. Oh, the red surge. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Right. The red surge. A buddy of mine told me that ChristianMingle.com. He's been cleaning up on ChristianMingle.com. You know who you are. <laughs> you know, like, exit, exit, exit. <laughs> no, more yeah. like sign up, yeah. sign up, sign up. Uh, Newport, Wales. Ever been? No, no. Well, the city council, they're very proactive. They want to be a city in bloom, and that's why council approved uh, the installation of uh, several flower pots uh, all throughout the city. Absolutely beautiful. As you can see, the flower pots uh, gather people's attention. They sort of take the old with the new. I mean, the beautiful old stone architecture you can see, but the, the flowers bring a bit of color. A lot of greenery, and people are really excited about them, especially the staff photographer at the Wales uh, online publication who noticed a certain, well, a, a certain one, two, three, four, five, is that hey, a seven a point leap? Hey, wait yeah, that's a right. The photographer was walking by and he found <laughs> that all these sea council planter pots, no. well, they put the pot in planter pot. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. They're saying now it's high time the city gardeners did some weeding. Now, the interesting thing is once this was discovered by the newspaper staff photographers... They disappeared. The plants disappeared. That was some wicked sort of uh, double entendre there, my friend. Nicely Thank done. Thank Smoking you. Smoking this morning. Oh, you... <laughs> Let's keep rolling. <laughs> Uh, all right, so um, we're going to go to a different kind of pot, uh, the loo, actually. Now, there's this thing, of course, you've seen these. They're, they basically, if you do not want to touch anything, there's new toilets, these, these toilets where you go into and they, they do everything for you. They're these automated, there's a Yeah, a but day. they're public toilets, which is so creepy. Well, well but th this one is my Satis, and the thing is, my Satis, you can actually activate it from your phone, so you don't have to touch anything. As long as you have your phone in there, there's an app for that. You can flush, you can clean, you can mm -hmm. brush, you can... Yeah. I have no idea. Idea. Tickle, you can rinse, oh, you can clean. <laughs> Whatever your desire is. Here's the thing though so there's a hacker that has hacked into this program. <laughs> so oh, you're. Of course. <laughs> you can be a victim of like, you know, if you're, let's say, cleaning, all of a sudden they can they can amp up the flow of water and. <laughs> really? <laughs> start putting the lid down. They can. <laughs> yeah. That's the kind of tickle trunk I don't want to be anywhere near. <laughs> it's time now for the BT trivia question.